My name is Matt Howe. I work for a company called Next Air. We're here doing demo days down in Miami, Florida. What I had to present to you today is the IPG Light Weld 1500, which is a fusion weld or wire welding piece of equipment. So we have our basic unit right here, which will go up to 1500 watts. We have the feeder that goes along with it. For today's demo purpose, I have two feeders set up. One has stainless and one has aluminum on it. Some of the benefits of this, if you've got customers doing TIG welding or basic MIG welding on thinner material, we've increased customers from 20% to 500%. Uh, getting anywhere from 8 to 10 parts a day up to 20 and 30 parts a day out of their facilities. With the speed, the cleanliness, uh, we have no spatter on this, on this unit. Uh, it's very easy to run. No welding experience really necessarily needed. If you look on the gun, so we've got a wire attachment right here where the wire comes out directly in front of the tip. The wire actually pushes you the correct speed when making a weld. So once you get it down, we've got our, you can see our laser right there. You put that in the groove. You've got two triggers, trigger one and then trigger two, which initiates the arc. And the gun allows you to push you the correct speed that you want to go. So what we'd like to discuss right now is the IPG and the features on the front of the machine that it has. Each IPG machine comes with a cheat sheet. So this is our wattage. So we could go from zero all the way up to 1500. Right here, this is where you pick the mode that you want. So you've got A, B, C, D, and then you've got different modes in with each, between each letter. So we've got A7, 8, 9, We'll go all the way down to one and we can go to B, C. All of these different ones give you um, for different types of material, whether it be MIG welding, fuse welding, either one. Down here we have wobble frequency. So this can be changed. It could go from zero to 50 or zero to negative 50, either one. That is the frequency of the wobble going back and forth as you're welding. Wobble length which is the width. So we can actually uh, go from zero to five on that or zero to negative five on that. So we can uh, change that. In each program that could be changed. These are preset from the factory, which seem to be working very well, but if somebody wants to make a little bit wider bead or they want to make their frequency a little bit faster or slower, that's where we come into play with adjusting this as we go. On this side over here, it tells you, it gives you your warnings. If the interlocks, which is this connection here, the ground connector, your gas, if we don't have the correct gas pressure and then warnings, uh, and then you got emergency stop button right here if it's something that you need to shut down in a hurry if you see something going wrong. If you'd like to, we'll, we'll make a couple of welds. We'll do a T-joint, we'll do a lap joint, and kind of give you an idea of what it looks like. So let's get on our glasses, all our safety gear. We've already preset our machine. This does come with a cheat sheet. So what it has on here, it's got stainless steel, mild steel, aluminum, and galvanized. It's got your thicknesses right above here. And then it tells you in each row, you have continuous wave, modulation, which those two are just fusion welding without wire, tack welding, so it has a tack feature that is pre-timed. And then we've got wire welding. So that'll be the one we're gonna be doing today and demonstrating. <clears throat> that'll be the W over here. You pick it on your machine, A8, A9, we're going to stay in A8, which is around 1400 watts. We can adjust the wobble length and the wobble frequency, but for day, today's purposes, we're just going to use what's directly from the factory. So when we get the end, you notice I'm snatching it away. If you were to just pull off without you know, releasing the trigger, it would stick. So what we've done is we have, uh, right when we get to the end, we just snatch it away. So that is your basic T-joint weld. As you can see, very small, no warpage. You can actually touch this material after you've welded with it, but we're getting 100% penetration on stainless, mild steel, and aluminum. What I'd like to talk to you about on this section of the, uh, the demo we're doing is the cleaning process of this machine. So what we have here is actually the XC model. It's still a 1500 light well, but it's the XC model. So it gives a wider cleaning versus this, versus your traditional right here. You got five millimeter. This one here can do up to 15 millimeter. For today's purposes, we're just gonna go over the five millimeter because our wells are kind of small. How does this benefit you out in the field? If you look here, you see we've got uh, what we call sugar, we call the has zone. It's got, you know, the discoloration. Even on this, you could clean the back sugar off of this. 
So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a demonstration of the cleaning purposes on this stainless material. If you'll look right here, see I got a wide line right there. That shows me that's how wide of cleaning area I'm gonna be. Now can I can change that all the way down to a narrow bead. So on the XC model, we can go up to 15 millimeter. For right now purposes, we're just gonna do five. It could see right there, took everything off. Now, if we wanna do the backside, we could actually clean that off if we needed to. And as you can see, every bit of that's gone. It leaves a little bit of indentation in there, but it actually takes everything off the material if you're looking for a clean finish for food grade or anything like that. That concludes our demonstration for today. If you have any questions or concerns, give Nextair a call and we can answer what you need to know. And thank you very much.